Let's take a look at how to create a remote network on a Linux machine with TwinGate. So I'm already logged in my TwinGate admin console. You can see it's called 95 Palms. That's just my local kind of demo environment. I'm going to click on Add for Remote Networks. Now I can do AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. I'm going to choose on-premise because I'm on-premise. I'm going to do inside local. Oops, not that way. I'll do inside local. Hit Add Remote Network. And it was created. Now, in order for this to work, I really need to deploy con connectors. That's what gets me out to the TwinGate network and makes everything work. So deploy connector, um, what I'm going to choose is Linux here. You see all the different options, Helm, Azure, A AWS, ECS, Terraform, and Pulumi, of course. That's in beta. I'm going to do Linux. I need to generate my tokens. That's going to make me re-authenticate, of course, zero trust. Hopefully, I don't need to enter my password because it's a really, really good one. Go down here. I can loc uh, I can do local network logs, which is going to go to systemd in this case, if I'm doing something like Datadog or whatever. But you see what it's going to do is curl down. So I need to have curl installed. I've already added that. Uh, my binary is set up to SH. It's going to do the TwinGate access token from above. It's going to do it all in one command for me. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm just going to come here and paste that in. You can see it there. Press Enter. Now it's going to prompt me for my pseudo password, of course, because I did not elevate yet. And there we go. In about a minute, it launched for me. Let's go back to our browser. Make sure that we see that it's connected and it's already connected. So we have our controller connected um, and our relay connected from uh, this connector. So finicky links is there and we're good. If I go back to inside local, we'll see that finicky links is connected. I should create another one again. We always recommend at least two uh, connectors, but I can do that later. That's how you do it. It's that simple. Copy and paste the command. If you're going to deploy, deploy a connector to any other environment, the steps are similar. Let's just follow the wizard.